Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Martinsville Speedway, this time for the 13th race in the 2021 NRSL Digital Storm Cup Series. We're gearing up for 100 laps of action around the paperclip as Vince Freeze joins me. Richmond race winner Dylan Young is on the pole. Yeah, we saw a wild, chaotic truck race. I expect the same thing today, Zach. We got a lot of heavy hitters at the front, previous winners from the season. And will we find a new winner this year? We'll find out in 100 laps. Dylan Young got his second win of the year at Richmond one week ago. He gets his second pull of the year here today, joining Charles Sanford and Allison Rain as two-time pull sitters on the season. Allison Rain will start in second. That's her best starting position in about a few races now. Charles Sanford cement Austin row two. Jonathan Zorlin won here in 2019. He's in row three with Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Logan Williams and Alexander Rowe in row four. Williams uh, is on the team that won this race last year with Matthew Logan, though it was the 38 car, which Osman Hamid drives. And in row five, Nate Rogers with the heartbreak last week at Richmond, getting wrecked in a four-wide situation with Kev Shearer to his outside as Vince will go over past race winners and go-or-go-home drivers that did not make the show. Let's we'll start with those uh, go-or-go-homers, shall we? We'll start with Derek Hamill, Lance Smith Jr., Trey Smith, Foster Henderson, Edwin Justice, Christian Vars, Daniel Bouchard, unfortunately Scott Roush for the all-rookie lineup not making it in the Martinsville. Some past winners, we have DJ Curse in 2017, 2018, Quinn and Moore, 2019, Jonathan Zorlin, and 2020, Matthew Logan. As you said before we got to the top of the air, Zach, it's going to be a 50-53, but more chaotic window. Expect a lot of interesting panic lines and a lot of chaos if we do get a wreck today. And you mentioned the past winners right there. I blanked for a second. Yeah, I did, yep. All righty. Coming into this race, new points leader Charles Sanfer jumps to the top of the board, 14 points over Dylan Young. Sorlin, 27 back. Allison Rain dropped all the way down to fourth, 28 points back. She has yet to win a race since she won three in a row from race two of Sebring through Vegas to Auto Club. So going on about two months now since her last win. Seth Cole comes in fifth in the standings, 36 points back. Yet to win a race. Samet Austin tied with him, sixth in the points. He is also yet to win. Fitzwater, 7th with 2 wins, 47 points back. The top 7 are right there under a blanket with a chance at the regular season championship here at the halfway mark. Jessica Shelton, 8th, 86 back. Tringali, 9th, 138 back. And Andrew Rich, 10th, 140 points back. As here we go, trackside for the command of fire engines. And Ausmane Hamid finally fell outside of the top 25 in points as I got a stupid update my virus notification. So Hamid fell from 21st to 28th after Richmond. He is currently only five points away from 25th in the standings. Also, James Ellison cracked the top 30 while Lane Sanders fell outside of the top 30. But Lane qualified into this race. He has yet to miss an event. Same with Kara Bell, who continues to work through Go or Go Home. She is 38th in the points coming into this thing. As Dylan Young and Rain will lead him off of turn four. Green flag is out. We're underway. Seeing a little bit of a checkup there with Ferranti. And the oh, back no. of the pack always gets chaotic on the start. They kept it together, though, but it looked like Diego Yepes was a pinball on the straightaway. Oh, oh, and he's getting walked. Dyer's around. Here we That's go. That's the big one, Zach. That's the big one. Tringali went straight to pit road for some reason. I'm not sure if he had an issue. McShane's going to get stuck. Ground. Tringali went straight to pit road. I'm not sure what happened. There were no reported issues for the seven. As oh, it's chaos. Chaos over the 41. But we saw Chung, Ellison, others. Oh, there's more, more carnage. Chaos. Oh, it's oh, a pileup. Jessica oh, Shelton's got no. heavy damage. Matthew Rodriguez, Sam Young. 
They're still piling up. Hey, uh, we said it. This race would be crazy. Matt rides it. No, Matt rides trying to get a pit road. Careful. And he missed the pit road entry. No, he made it. Oh. Uh. So we missed whatever happened on the front stretch. Dylan Young is your leader. Osman and Hamid's already got a ton of damage. Kukulon appears clean. He started at the back once again. He's already made his way up to 25th. So he's already gained 11 positions, Vince. This guy is the the sly cat when he gets that caterpillar scheme back. He's literally the slyest cat in the field. Back to their front and no, and no problem. Well, that's the Bass Pro Shop scheme, but... Yeah, we had. Yeah, I guess you could say he's a big fish. <laughs> so started 36 up to 24th. 19th in the points, Kukulon comes in, still looking for that first top 10. This has just been mayhem. It hit pit stops, yeah, that's crazy. We still have to talk about that later in the race. As you see everyone trying to file in line somewhat. This damage is all over the place. Keith Rich has a bunch of back-end damage. Same with Kev Shearer. As here's the gap. You see Seth Cole, Levi McIntyre, Quinton Moore, Cole Deaver, all with damage, and then a huge three-second gap up the Fitzwater. So that's where the carnage began, was just inside the top ten. So you got Fitzy seventh, Rose sixth, Sorlin fifth, Oskin in fourth, Rain third, Charles Sanford second, and Dylan Young leads it. But based on every short track we've done this year, Vince, uh, between the Dodge Motodrome and Richmond, leading in the beginning... Isn't what you want to do. You want to be in second place. You want to be sand for a rain right now. A chasing pack. You don't really want to be Dylan Young. But we'll see. I mean, maybe Young has a... Uh... Oh. Looking at who's out of the race. Matthew Rodriguez, Logan Williams, Jessica Shelton, Andrew Rich, and Nate Rogers with a bad run again today. So I'm guessing the accident occurred between the 9 and the 23 because I never saw their cars... But they retired, so we'll have to definitely look after this race to see what happened to them. So a tough break for Nate after starting inside the top 10. That could explain the the gap from 7th to 8th because he started in 9th. So Dylan Young closing towards his first lap traffic. And it's not over. You think all that madness was it? No, they, have, they will calm down and... In the past, we have seen carnage unfold yet again as Kev Shearer is just falling backwards with his damage. Same with Keith Rich. As Kukulon continues to move forward, he's just cracked the top 20, I believe. Yeah, he might be under threat here. But, yeah, he did in the top 20. So Turner, will take, say, Turner will take 20th place. Go ahead, Vince. I was going to say at the start, they seemed like they were going 3 wide, which would be an illegal restart. Maybe Tringali had a problem he knew and tried to wave guys around him. I don't know. We'll look at the replay. Maybe that's what caused it. We'll see. That could be the only reason. I don't know of any other reason why he would have pit. He currently runs in 36, two laps down. So a tough break for two of the 300 cars. As Seth Cole just got turned by Lane Sanders. Colt Hudson's around. Oh, it's Oh, here we go. Oh, Kev Shearer, and we got a flip. Kev Shearer's upside down. There's Dylan Young. Oh, no, Young is stuck. No, no he's not stuck yet. Oh, he's going to get off of it. Charles Sanford. Sanford's going to get off of it, too. Here comes Rain. <laughs> that closed up Rain and Zorlin, and Rain will go for second. Things happen here really fast. That's a super tough break for Seth Cole. Just got straight up dumped by the four of Lane Sanders. Temper's flaring, too. We didn't talk about that in the truck race. And temper, temper. Lane was a lap down to begin with, I think. So that is crazy to see. But Dylan Young, Sanford with a bit of a scare there. But they keep it going. But Sanford going to fall down to third. As that Page allowed... Push. That allowed Cole Deaver and the others to close up the gap a little bit. Quinton Moore, ninth. McIntyre, tenth. And there's Lane Sanders with his front end damage. Kukulon in 20th. 
Ellison 19th, and he was in that first lap crash. We're not done yet. This is just the beginning. Colt Hudson has retired from the race. Osman Hamid as well. Kev Shear is done. I believe Seth Colt will be done as well. Nope, Seth Cole is fixing damage. So right now it's Rain chasing Dylan Young. So we are currently down to 34 cars on the track. And we still got 27 on the lead lap. Make that 26 as Keith Rich gets put a lap down. And we're only on lap 20, Vince. Yeah, things happen fast and things happen frantically. It seems like surviving in advance is the way to go today and maybe the next couple races ahead. We have Bristol next week, and that could be a crazy race too. Oscar's falling off the map. He got passed by Cole Deaver. Sorlin's up to fourth. As you mentioned, that Oskin falling down to eighth. It's Quinton Moore and McIntyre still a ways back. That might be their damage talking. As Ferranti and Adam Flickinger closing in in 11th and 12th. What a run for Adam. Comes into this race. 39th in the points. Really needing a good run. But Ace Rogers has a truck series win here. He's running 13th. On Jack 14th. Yepes 15th with his damage. Sack Flickinger, RJ Bishop, Ellison, Jesse Turner, and Kukul on the top 20. And Amanda Evans, Sam Young with a battered race car. Carabelle, William Brock, the rest of the drivers on the lead lap. As Seth Cole returned to the track after getting slammed around. And his car actually looks pretty good. Yeah, for uh, what he what he went through, that's a that's a win in his book. But it will be no first win on the season today for Seth. He is six laps down. It's he up the fourth and past Sanford. Charles Sanford now going backwards after being in the grass as Alexander Rowe will look for fifth. There's a driver outside the top ten in points looking for a win or a good run. Andrew Rich crashing out of this race. Tenth in the points coming in. That's going to open the door for Deaver and Rowe. They are the closest ones to him in the standings. As Dylan Young has pulled away to a three-second lead. As now Fitzy gets by Zorlin. And Fitzwater will be looking for second here on teammate Allison Rain. Is he looking at that long run pace as Dylan Young is cruising for now? Dylan Young has nothing to worry about here. He got through all the traffic. Fitzwater will take second place away from Rain. Rain will slide right in front of Zorlin. As Seth Cole holding up the 51 there a little bit. Priya McShane's like several laps down with her fresher tires. She's trying to make gains here. As Ferranti has jumped inside the top 10. McIntyre down the 12th. As nobody is really closing in on those front runners. Just looking at the lap times. So this appears to be the battle for ninth and 10th here today for now between Quinton Moore, Ferranti, Adam Flickinger, and McIntyre. Two Chevrolets, two Fords. As the fastest lap belongs to Peter Onjak at 20.413 as he runs in 14th place. But how about Diego Yepes in 15th and James Ellison in 18th to being involved in that first crash? It set them back, but they missed the rest of the carnage, Vince, and uh, they're benefiting from it now. A great message to never give up, folks. I mean, that's what it's all about sometimes, perseverance. Just because 
you got involved in the lap one wreck doesn't mean you can't come back to the short track. You see Dylan Young on the back of William Brock. As Fitzy got past, as Orleans up the thing. So Sorlin up to second. They continue the battle for position as they're trying to work their way through the rest of the lap traffic that Dylan Young has left in the dust. As Cole Deaver has made his way up to sixth. Right back down to seventh now. Now, now he's looking like he's going to fall back to eighth. So Deaver, Oskin, and Rowe really having it out here for a couple positions. As Sanford's looking to challenge back for fourth. Dives it into the inside of Fitzwater as Rain has made it back up to third. Still three and a half seconds behind Dylan Young almost, though. The lap traffic is proving to be challenging, so it's just Laura Chung now between Zorlin and race leader Dylan Young. As right now, it looks like it could be Dylan Young becoming the second driver to hit three wins on the season, Vince. I'm not going to count that just yet. We still got pit stops in the end. Oh, oh, trust me. I know it's early. But we would be looking at the, let's see, one, two, three, fourth different driver to go back to back if Dylan pulls it off, which is something we'll say, though. we have never seen that. I don't think we, we came into this year never seeing someone win three in a row, and we had never seen anybody win. Uh, we had never seen this many drivers win back to back in one season. Usually it's one driver or maybe two, but this year it has been so far three. And it would be insane if we had, in the span of seven races, three drivers winning two races apiece with Charles Sanford there in the middle at Pocono. Yeah, this is like one of those seasons where it's just a group of five or six people. Like I said, it's been pretty. Uh... Pretty much those four or five people we mentioned, excluding Azmain Hamid at 500, that's one. It's, uh, it's one of those weird seasons, just dominance. See, as Dylan Young makes his way through this next batch of lap traffic, the lead is extended to 4.2 seconds over Allison Rain. As I thought, Carabelle was about a hook. Amanda Evans there for a second. Rain up to second. Oskin has flown up to third all of a sudden. As Charles Sanford was up there for a second. Now he's losing positions. That's how you get past lappers, I think. That's the key. As Deaver and Rowe have fallen to the back of this group. Adam Flickinger has made it up to ninth. McIntyre back up to tenth as Quinton Moore falls to twelfth. Just see all the battered race cars back here, except for... These clean machines are Ace Rogers, Onjack, and Sack Flickinger. Keith Rich's car is demolished, but he has yet to come to pit road. As Rain will be the first to get by Laura Chung. Oskin looking to be the second, but he's going to get put to the top by Zorlin. And Dylan Young, he had a big lead at the Dodge Motordrome too, Vince. And then what happened? He had to stop for a wreck after undercutting the field. And that's what oh, opened yeah. the door for Jonathan Zorlin to swoop in and win. Speaking of strategy, we're close. Maybe nine laps away. Maybe eight. That's it. And we'll start seeing some people take some undercut. And are we going to go long here? I don't know. We see what happened in the truck race yesterday, though. That clean pit road means a lot. They bang a lot on pit road, and it can cost you positions. Seen it a lot in the past. Here, someone could be top 10 before pit stops, and next thing you know, they're a lap down in 25th. Well, Austin will continue to lose positions after gaining some. So now, joining Rain and Zorlin will be Fitzwater. As McShane has been the one lap car moving forward because of her difference in tires. Now for second. The lead is 5.3 seconds for Young. Zorlin will pass Rain like nothing. So I think Zorlin appears to be the second strongest car today. He won here back in 2019. He knows how to get around here. You know, Vince, we mentioned all these different winners getting two wins, three wins. But we've yet to see... I mean, it's still early in the year, but we have yet to see someone explode like Andrew Rich did in 2018. Andrew had 
five wins through the first 27 races of the season, and then he won three more in the 10-race playoff. But he didn't get the championship because he didn't make the Final Four. So that was an eight-win season for Andrew Rich, and I think if anyone's going to get close to that, it could be this year. But they've got to just break out and start going win after win after win. We thought Allison Rain looked pretty good early on, but she has yet to win. And what would now be after today would be uh, nine races, I believe, as Dylan Young has lapped up to 20th place Sebastian Kugelon. The old philosophy, right? Do you go for win, chase those wins in the regular season, or do you really need to save some for the playoffs and not show your cards? That's uh, the chess match will happen as we get closer towards the end of this regular season. McShane has made it by Allison Rain. So her tires are paying out as Zorlin has caught the back of Sam Young, and we're right about in that window. So we're going to want to watch Dylan Young in case things go crazy as he's in a bit of an island again. All before the storm, that's a good shot to call it right there as Dylan Young goes down the back straightaway at Martinsville. You just see how much better he is on the brakes and overall mechanical grip in the center. So nothing else has really changed inside the top 20 aside from Onjak up to 13th, Flickinger up to 14th, and Ace Rogers down to 15th. We're on lap 50. As Alexander Rowe has made it up to 4th. All right, race is halfway done. If you undercut, you're looking pretty good. Like nobody's uh, buying that just yet. Maybe somebody in the back. Gotta watch these pit road shenanigans here. Oh, well, we have a we have the 44 of Stephen Colon on pit road. This is the trouble right here. You Charles Sanford. So Sanford, the first one in. Here comes on Jack Sack Flickinger, Ace Rogers. Oh, and Dylan Young's gonna oh. come in right behind Jesse Turner. Yeah, I'm gonna be careful right here. Sorlin will pit. Rain will stay out. This is where you're going to start losing time if, if you're right behind somebody on entry. Oh, Alexander Rowe actually passed Allison Rain coming to pit road. And that is a hectic, busy pit road. Dylan Young will hit his stall as Charles Sanfer goes out. There goes Peter Onjak, Ace Rogers, Zach Flickinger, Jesse Turner. And Dylan Young will come out with no problem at all, Vince. Race leader. Please stop. Zorland second. Zorland second. Charles Sanford up to third. Deaver will come in line in fourth. Fitzy fifth. Austin sixth. Adam Flickinger seventh in line so far. Onjak eighth. Ferranti and Ace the top ten. First rain in them though. We gotta wait for those guys and gals. There goes Dylan Young. There goes Sorland. And here comes Rowan Rain. I believe Roe will come. Oh, oh, oh! McShane just turned down in front of Ellis in the pit. Will anybody hit her? Oh, yep. Keith Rich does. William, William Brock, Brock on the know. grass. Sam Young on the grass, but they kept it together. They kept it straight. Oh, Young, Young lucky. <laughs> shades of Patrick Smith from yesterday. We almost had PTSD right there. We probably did. <laughs> All right, but your top ten, Dylan Young leads, Zorlin second, Sand for third, Deaver fourth, Fitzy fifth, Rose sixth, Austin seventh, Rain eighth, Adam Flickinger ninth, and Peter Onjak tenth. How about that for Peter Onjak? 23rd of the points, looking for his first top ten of the season. Uh, Adam Flickinger is 39th in the points, looking for his first top ten of the season. Priya McShane going to make her final stop since she was off sequence. After getting turned into the pits at that. 
If there's anybody here to challenge Onjack and Adam Flickinger for these top 10 positions, it appears it'll be Alex Ferranti, who's 20, uh, 30th in the points, coming in with one top 10 on the year. Ace Rogers coming in 25th in the points with a top 10 on the year. And then Sack Flickinger comes in 13th in the points, one top 5, four top 10s on the year. But Ferranti, Ferranti, Onjak, Ace, Adam, they all need these good runs here today. As you see Seth Cole making his final stop of the day. All right, so Zorlin has cut the lead. Zorlin is charging forward, Vince. I think Dylan Young stuck. Dylan's on the top side in traffic. Remember, those two pit on the same lap. There is no tire advantage between the two of them. But the lead is down to 1.3 seconds, and maybe Zorlin just had trouble with lap traffic earlier, racing his fellow competitors for second. That could have been what held them up. But it looks like, unless something crazy happens, Vince, it's the race to become the second driver to three wins on the season. If it's Dylan... Or, or, yeah, if Dylan Young gets this win, it would be his fourth career win and second in a row in the year, becoming the fourth driver to go back-to-back. -back. And if Sorlin wins, it would be his 11th career win, tying Allison Rain for second all-time. As Andrew Rich, who came in with 12 wins on the season over Seth Cole's 10 and Rain and Zorlin's 8, has yet to win this year. I don't want to praise. I don't want to count Cole Deaver just yet. He needs to make some time off. He's in clean air. Let's see what he can do. Yes, indeed. He is back there. Oops. I hit the wrong button. That's a good shot. That's a good shot there. I was... Okay. Good, good gaps. Adam Flickinger chilling in ninth. Best on Jack's under fire from Ferranti for 10th. Ellison running in 20th place today. Yep, as 19th. Carabelle in 18th. Good run for her, concerning where she came in. 38th in the points. So you see Sorlin getting by Seth Cole. How about Sebastian Kugelon, though, Vince? Up 20 positions from starting in 36th place. Has the hard charger every race. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, he just has a knack for qualifying the back, staying out of trouble, and despite being a lap down, being the, the highest running driver a lap down. That's crazy. Looking at where some other people are running on the ticker. Laura Chunk, 21st. Parrish, 22nd. Brock, 23rd. Lane Sanders, 24th. Quentin Moore fell to 25th by fixing damage, I believe. Same with Sam Young down to 26th. Amanda Evans, 27th. About to go two laps down. Logan York, Nico Tringali, remember he pit right on the first lap. He's been playing catch-up all day. He's up to 29th. And you see the rest of the guys with a lot of trouble today, including Samuel Dyer, Priya McShane, and Seth Cole. As those drivers have retired from this race, including Colt Hudson, Kev Shearer, Osman Hamid, Nate Rogers, Andrew Rich, Jessica Shelton, Logan Williams, and Matthew Rodriguez. Looks like the fastest oh. lap of the race will go to William Brock, a thirty, a twenty point three six two. As Vince was about to say something there. Well, I think it's uh, oh, Young slips up. Here comes Rowan. Now it's even even. If Rowan gets around Kukulon, which he does, we'll see who's got the fastest car right now. Closed in four tenths of a second that lap. Deaver just kind of holding steady, three point four back. You look at the season, number of wins per manufacturer, one win for Dodge, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wins for Chevrolet, and then the two wins from Dylan Young for Ford. Nothing from Nothing. Toyota. <laughs> yeah, Toyota's just uh, having a season to forget, but uh, Dylan Young carrying the Ford banner is interesting. 
And man, if, if one of our experienced, one of the experienced drivers switched to Toyota, that would really help their stable out. Right now, the best driver they've got is William Brock, who came into this race 17th in the standings, but he had bad luck dealing with incidents today. See, Dylan Young just not able to get by Amanda Evans. And Zorlin just slowly inching forward. This will be at 27 laps to go this time by. Hey, the chicken right now, who's going to click first, as they like to say? Deaver's still third. Deaver is third by about five seconds over Charles Sanfer, who has a bumper full of Allison Rain and Alexander Rowe, and he'll actually lose the positions there. So Rowe up to fourth, Rain up to fifth. Sorlin looking to take 6th. Austin will be looking to take 7th. And that could just be that difference of tires there. It's minimal here at Martinsville, but it's there. So Adam Flickinger is now racing Peter Onjak for ninth, as Sack Flickinger has made it up to 11th. Got a lead change there. And as we were going through the field, Jonathan Sorlin... Got to the inside of Dylan Young and passed him for the race lead. Sorlin looking for what would be his second career win at this racetrack. Dylan Young is not done yet. He's still going to keep the gap. As you see, he's rolling inches higher there. Hold tight. And we have yet to see a staple short track racer in the Digital Storm Cup Series. If if Zorlin gets it done oh. today, he could be the one. But don't count out Dylan Young either. Side by side again for the lead. Don't get the pick there, I think. Deaver's down to two and a half seconds behind. Old Deaver and that monstrous win streak. Long was win streak of all drought. Meadowlands was the last time he won there in a long time. That was back in 2019. The one thing... Not in Deaver's favor is his tires are one lap older. Dylan Young will get by Keith Rich. Sorlin going to have some trouble. Is this just a bit, a little bit of a boggle here until you get past Levi McIntyre? It could be mostly, it might be mostly the 53 and the 73. They're heavily there. Oh, no. Oh, Sam Young. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dylan Young for him with disaster. Sam Young got in the Sam Dyer. And then Sam Young got into Dylan Young, and Dyer got into Dylan Young, and that was, oh, that was a hard in the hard in the mouth moment right there. Those guys grew out, grew a little older there after that incident. <laughs> I'm sure Dylan will talk to Sam about that one after the race. But man, Dylan Young almost got Nate Rogers from a uh, a week ago. Dylan Young's got nine lives in this race. He's missed a couple. <laughs> the lead is back over three seconds to Cole Deaver. As Fitzwater has jumped into fifth place. Rain has fallen down to eighth. Peter Onjak has taken ninth away from Adam Flickinger. As Sack Flickinger has fallen back down to 14th. So it is a six-horse race for ninth and tenth. And a little extra points on the season. Ferrante will look to the inside of Adam Flickinger for 10th place. These guys are in that constant uh, battle to be top 30 in the points. And I think after today, depending how some drivers have performed, we might see Osman Hamid fall outside of the top 30. And that would be big trouble for the Daytona 500 winner. Got a lead change at the front. We do? Yep. Down to throw in the one, two just got the lead. Oh, there we do. Vince is correct. Coming to 15 to go. Zorlin passing Dylan Young back yet again. Kind of making me uh, remember yesterday there, Vince, with uh, Friesen and Baranowskis were going at it back and forth until Baranowskis finally drove away. And now it's looking like Dylan Young might be in trouble. Priya McShane's got four lap fresher tires. 
So that is weighing in here, but Sorlin will be the one to put McIntyre a lap down. That leaves 14 cars on the lead lap. That's crazy, man. That's Martinsville, though. They just don't have many cars remaining on the lead lap, especially with the chaos. It's Peter Onjak's up to ninth. That's, that's the highest I've seen him all year. Ferranti up to 10th. Sorlin has gap Dylan Young. Dylan needs to get by McIntyre and get right behind Priya McShane if he wants another shot at Zorlin. Priya should be able to get around Zorlin. Unless, oh, Zorlin hit the curb. Zorlin hit the curb. Will perish in the way. That's going to hurt Zorlin a little bit there. One's high up tight. He's tight. Zor McIntyre's going to go up high. Ooh, Dylan, Dylan, Young. Dylan Young got to the inside of McIntyre. He's just got to follow McShane by. Oh, he's going to put McShane to the outside here. Did McShane get the bite? She did. Sorlin's high. Sorlin Here comes goes, Dylan Young. Sorlin goes high again. Dylan Young to the inside. Who needs Priya McShane? 11 okay. to go. I'm not sure if, if Sorlin's getting really tight or what's going on there, but he went high about four corners in a row. Couldn't get by Will Parrish, and now Dylan Young's going to make it look like nothing. Like Dylan Young just got shot out of a rocket or something. I mean, he was almost the second back. He made up a second and a half. Now he's distancing Zorlin. Do you want to be the leader? I don't even know. <laughs> this is a great race. And it is a pack of hungry wolves in front of them that are fighting for the last top 10 spot as Ace Rogers has made it up to ninth and RJ Bishop has made it up to 10th. What a weird day today. But the focus is on the lead. Zorlin's now the one riding behind Priya McShane. She was faster before. Dylan Young's going to be the one to put Sack Flickinger a lap down. That leaves us 13 cars on the lead lap. And we might see up to ninth place put a lap down here, depending on what happens with this pack. A lot of these guys racing for position here. Sorlin gets by McShane. Whatever tires she had are gone. Only Young's got the convoy behind if he gets right for Ronte. Looks like Fitzwater, yep. Fitzwater is clear in fourth place, about a second up over Rowe. So it looks like Rowe and Rain will battle for fifth. There it is actually on the ticker. Rain just jumped up to fifth. Six laps to go here. They'll just jump up through the top ten real quickly. There's Austin, Charles Sanford, eighth and seventh. Rowan sixth. Rain in fifth. There you see Fitzy in fourth. And Cole Deaver in third. Great run for Cole Deaver if he can pull off the third place finish. That Dylan would be, Young, man. That would be Deaver's first top five on the season and sixth top ten. And with how close he was to Rich coming into this race, it'll pop Deaver inside the top 10 in the points. Dylan Young making work of the last few driver. He has lapped up to 11th place. Wayne Sanders giving him a hard time, though. Oh, that could be contact. That's contact a little bit there. Same thing happened this morning. He's got to get by quick. We've got some problems here. Come in the three laps to go. Oh, boy. Dylan Young is not happy. He's right on his quarter panel. He's got to make the move now. Zorlin is there. Do not let a lap car cost you a win. Oh, he's got to be fuming right now. He's still right on the quarter panel of Lane Sanders. There, there he is. goes. He pushed him up. Come in the two to go. RJ Bishop is going to make a move for ninth on Ace Rogers in front. Rowan's still there, though. That's huge for R.J. Bishop. He came in 32nd in the points. Two more points for him could really help him crack the top 30 with how Osman Hamid did today. White, White flag, flag in the air for Dylan Young as he'll go to lap Ace Rogers. Will anything happen here to help Jonathan Zorlin in this last lap? And the back straight we go. 
Dylan Young looking for number two in terms of back-to-backs. Through three and four, Dylan Young will be the fourth different driver to go back-to-back -back this year. And he gets his fourth career win at Martinsville Speedway. And he becomes the second driver to hit three wins on the season. Dylan Young hitting that stride here on the short tracks. Sorlin will come home second, Deaver third, Pitsy fourth, Rain fifth, Austin, Sanford, Rowe, Bishop, and Ace Rogers, the top ten. See the long list of drivers that did not finish or finished a lap down. So now it's time for replays. First thing we're going to look at is what happened with Tringali. See if he actually got a penalty. And that appears to be the case here on the green. Went to the inside of Amanda Evans. You can't do that from the outside line. And that was what happened to Tringali there. He had to serve the penalty. And back there, something happens here to Yepes. Got turned, it looks like. He got pushed up by Logan York, and that put him in the wall. Right in front of Sack Flickinger. We're going to run this stuff at half speed. Still three wide. And Brock gets into Samuel Dyer right there. And then a little contact there, a little more contact there, and around we went. Ellison nowhere to go, just gets a little piece there. Down in the Sanders, more contact. William Brock goes around. Sanders hops the curbing. Kukulon just kind of rides his way through here. And you see Osman Hamid, Priya McShane, and others get into it. And that was the first batch of carnage. So now after what happened in turn three, McShane was stopped on the apron. And going into the corner... Logan Williams just stops. Shelton slams into Nate Rogers. And then Jesse Turner gets turned around. That's where Ace Rogers makes a piece of contact. And that was all she wrote there. Up ahead here is Rich on the apron. And then up ahead, Nate Rogers is just going to turn Logan Williams to the inside wall. Hard contact there. And then he goes around right in front of Shelton, who's already got a messed up front end. And it's on. McIntyre, nowhere to go. We got more people. Oh, man, back, Rogers, there, back there. Amanda Evans and Keith Rich got together. There's Andrew Rich. Kills his car. Quinton Moore gets turned down the track. You see Kev Shearer turned around up at the front of your screen. Sam Good Young, Kukalon. Logan York, there's Matt Rod just slamming it on in. Peter. Peter's oh, going to nice inch mix. by there. Slow down here. Peter misses all of this. That's made Hamid. Hamid gets more contact. Parrish gets involved. James Ellison going to sneak on the inside. William Brock the middle. Four wide there for a second. And that was what happened with that. And I believe that was all of our carnage for today, aside from uh, Priya McShane getting turned down pit road, which we saw that. Oh, uh, Seth Cole turned. Oh, yes, Seth Cole. Let's go look at that one. Oh, wait a minute. Are we done yet? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I think I think we're good. About 10 laps later, Seth Cole was off pace from contact earlier on. Lane Sanders is just going to keeps riding the left rear quarter panel and just turns him into the inside wall. Back up the track. Same thing as what happened to Logan Williams. And then Colt Hudson had nowhere to go. William Brock, same thing. Just spinning, just spinning, just spinning. Kev Shearer, nowhere to go. 
pops the okay. 72 up on his side. Osman Hamid gets into him. And then Samuel Dyer hits Kev. That flips Kev up onto his passenger side door. Flip counter's back. Yeah, the flip counter's back. That killed Kev's car. There's Dylan Young and Sanford coming into the picture. Dylan Young and Sanford come up here. They get in the grass trying to miss this. Now, Seth Cole drove away from this, which I thought was insane, and then went on to fix the damage and continue the race. You see right there, Logan York pushing into Laura Chung. Dylan Young got a little stuck there. Charles went straight up on the grass to not get uh, his splitter hung up on the curbing. You see Austin down there on the grass, Fitzwater and others. But they all managed to get it going. And that was the mayhem. Let's take an on board with Kev Shearer to end this race. On board with the double zero of Kev Shearer. Tough break for Kev here today. That'll do it for us from Martinsville Speedway. Dylan Young, you're a winner. And we'll see you guys for Bristol in a week's time. Sure to be a chaotic event.